everyone. Thank you for viewing my video, my tarot offering. I am Melinda Nail Fanatic and I am the owner of Nail Fanatic's Artistry Design Studio as well as Love, Peace and Happiness Tarot in Las Vegas, Nevada. I do the tarot readings like I do for free every month and daily because I love humanity. I love my brothers and sisters and I want to see us all thriving and happy living a life of love, peace and happiness. I do personal readings by donation and so I ask that you consider what is the actual value of the information to you. Send that donation to me along with your specific and clear questions and I will reciprocate that value back to you in a reading. For donations of $60 or more, I will um, allow for options of live readings, whether it is by telephone or some live streaming, or if you're here in Las Vegas, Nevada, we can do it live at my studio. If it's a donation of less than $60, then it will be by YouTube at load and it will be anonymous towards you unless you ask me to specifically use your name openly in your reading however the information is channeled specifically for you i do have a one to three day turnaround for personal reading requests and i do reserve the right to refuse service if the service is only worth a dollar to you then why would i want to put my energy into something that you only value at one dollar anyhow with all that being said, let's get into your reading. For all aspects of the sign of Capricorn for October 2016, for your overall love, peace, and happiness, thank you, Love Source God, for showing me the messages for Capricorn. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands. Okay, and the High Priestess. Did you all just see how that just all flipped itself right out of the deck for me? I mean, I do prep the cards in between recordings for each sign, and um, I do ask that the messages be forthcoming. I love it when the messages jump out at me. I just feel like I can't deny them when they hop out into my hand like that. Uh, so, let's see what the underlying energy is. Four of Wands. This is awesome. The Ten of Wands, also awesome. Okay, that one. Strength. No, as, excuse me, justice. Justice, that's what I meant to say. Strength also applies in some way. Otherwise, I wouldn't have slipped up because there's no mistakes on this planet. Everything is by divine order. Everything is perfect. There is no mistakes. If you, if you thought there were mistakes in life, well, honey, you're missing a blessing somewhere because there are no mistakes. All things are perfect and divine. Oh, my unconditional love oh I like those two words especially put together oh yeah that's a good thing we have unconditional love and we even have the four of wands here mm -mm -mm. that's a good good sign for love somebody's falling in love somebody's love that they've been having is growing somebody's love is turning into marriage especially with this lady right here lady justice somebody gonna go march up to the courthouse y'all gonna go sign some papers together i'm so happy for you capricorn ooh, 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 capricorn and the carolyn miss archetype deck says child eternal for you determination to remain young in body mind and spirit ability to see things with fresh eyes you see those two people chasing a butterfly, chasing that transformation, and they're excited about it. And look at all those sunflowers down there. That's all totally pure, positive energy. Love Source God says, now tell them about the solar plexus. Okay. And the reason I say it, and the reason that that is so important, is because for the last couple of months, I've been personally... And also through other readers, I'm seeing a lot of solar plexus energy coming into play in our lives just on a overall scale because we're being asked to revitalize our personal power, our willpower, and put that into full force in our lives 
overall. If you have never done any solar plexus chakra meditations or clearing or cleansing, it's time for you to do that. Even with this, um, even with me throwing out the word strength at the beginning when I saw the justice card, that also alludes to the solar plexus chakra being very important during this time. And it's basically your inner power source. It is your drive, determination, your fuel, your, it is your assertion. It is your energy. And so, whoa, strong, strong, strong feeling of just being balanced rather than being subjected to something or someone. It is about you being balanced. It is about you asserting your will. It is about you following your intuition with the high priestess being here as the major arcana that came out out of three cards you got the major arcana high priestess love source god says to me remember that when you do things through unconditional love as your motivation you will always find success and accomplishment and follow your intuition because your intuition will constantly guide you in this unconditional love love source God says to you be playful keep a lightheartedness yes you must also handle your own responsibilities but I see that you're doing that here as a matter of fact not only are you handling your own responsibilities you're overcoming the challenges that you have been faced with your unconditional love and your happy-go-lucky positive childlike mentality is allowing you to experience a greater sense of harmony between yourself and others and allowing you to hold and balance all things in your life at this time this is a card of celebration next to a card of completion next to a card of following your intuition and your inner emotion, your inner psychic, trusting yourself is allowing you to live a life of greater stability and harmony and to bring in justice and equality in your life. I feel balance is very strong for you also. Um, October 2016, it is very important that you Make sure that you're balancing both your masculine and feminine aspects within yourself. All humans have both masculine and feminine sides of their self. When one of them goes awry and one of them overpowers others, then we have um, the people who are off balance. In other words, we have the chauvinist mentality or we have the mentality of the, um, oh goodness, the I need to say the damsel in distress mentality so you're being encouraged to allow both sides of your personality of your humanity both the ma masculine and feminine are shown here twice and also it alludes to that with the justice card having a left and right it's definitely alluded to in the high priestess the inner balance and look at this, okay, Love Source God says, you see how I put all the balance on both sides. And in the center, we have childlikeness, and we have the, the Ten of Wands, which is accomplishing all things that comes through. So Love Source God is saying for you right now that I'm balancing the need to care for yourself, the need to care for others, balancing the need to do for yourself and the need to be taken care of, balancing the emotional aspect and the logical aspect. These things are very important for you right now. It's going to allow you to see a lot of success and accomplishment and move forward into some new energy. And it's going to allow you also to have this optimistic, carefree, positive attitude, knowing that you are chasing a transformation. 
Not only are you chasing it, but it wants you. It's flying towards you as you're flying towards it. The transformation is a beautiful one that you're um, going into because it is advancement on a soul level. It is a newness. It is moving you into a place of attainment of greater inner wholeness. And everybody wants everything outer. Okay, love source God, I'm delivering this already and I'm just letting you know this is so channeled. Anyhow, everybody wants the outer things to come into balance. Love Source God says the outer things come into balance when the inner self is in balance. And so any of your emotional issues, any problems in love, any problems in finances, any problems in responsibilities will all be resolved as you be resolved to be in balance internally the external will balance itself you will see the means the ability the support from your planet the support from your family the support from your job the support from your fill in the blank whatever it is you will see all of that come to fruition for you as you center yourself balance yourself uh, you will also see, some of you are going to see that there are abilities within you that are going to come out and be enhanced. Some of you have the thought that you may have um, some powers of, of metaphysical properties, and I'm just going to leave it at that. And yes, you do. And these will be heightened and magnified in your balance. But your reading is very much so calling for you to find some balance in your life. And look inside for the love. Don't look outside for it. Look inside. Love yourself unconditionally. It's very important. As you love yourself unconditionally, the universe must reflect back to you that which you know is true of yourself, which is you are unconditionally lovable. So then what happens is the rest of the world starts to unconditionally love you in this child eternal. Keep a positive, optimistic, um, curious approach to life. Be willing to investigate life. Be willing to follow your bliss. If I can help you with a personal reading, please contact me at the information here. Um, I am grateful that you have lined up with my reading. Remember, this was a general reading. If some of the message don't resonate towards you, I didn't expect it to resonate fully towards everybody, That, but there will be one or two of you where everything that I have said resonates strongly with you. So I appreciate your compliments. Your comments is what I meant to say, and I also appreciate your compliments. But what I really meant to say was I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your like, shares, and subscribe. Check me out on YouTube and um, my artist page on Facebook under the name Melinda Nail Fanatic. And if you're following me on Periscope, I will be moving on to the next sign for the monthly reading for Aquarius for October 2016 next. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love, peace, and happiness to you and yours and, of course, me and mine. Until next time.